Did you guys know that there's actually a test that can assess the risk of domestic violence and one of them is called Sarah? Sarah? Yep, Sarah. Sarah stands for Spousal Assault Risk Assessment. And what essentially this test does, it helps to determine the degree to which an individual poses a domestic violence threat to his or her partner, to children, or to another family member. For example, like the case just now, if someone shows a signs of domestic abuse, this test can actually assess the risk of spousal violence. Yeah, and this test was developed in Canada at the British Columbia Institute of Family Violence by Randall Kropp and his colleagues. What does it measure? Well, it assesses three domains, which includes the criminal history where the test assesses past violence, second, psychological functioning to assess the current mental health, substance abuse, and the relationship issues, and third, the risk management factors to evaluate individuals' willingness and the ability to manage and control their behavior. Oh yes, I also look up that there is a latest version of the assessment that is called as SARA version 3. It has 24 items that can be administered to 18 years old and above, but only test user with B-level qualification. And it also very simple too, because the format uses two-point Likert scale with zero means the absence of the risk factor and two means that there is a risk presented. But is it reliable? Yes. Sarah has a strong reliability and validity as proven in the research. In fact, it is used in a professional setting such as criminal justice, mental health, and also social services. For example, judges may use Sarah in proceeding to inform the sentencing or probation based on the assessment results. Oh, but has it been used similarly? Hmm, sadly no. It is only used in Western country. So, if you're someone in a relationship and you face signs of domestic violence, please contact this number immediately. Stop, Stop domestic, domestic violence, violence now. now.